Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com taking a look at the Sony Reader Touch Edition, the latest in the Sony Reader line. The model number on this one is PRS600 and you can get it for between $300 and $400 depending where in the world you're shopping. Now what it is, it's a touchscreen ebook reader that uses e-ink to display images on the screen. And it also bundles in some other neat features which we'll get to in a minute. Now you can see here a drawing that we created in the, uh, in the handwriting mode. So you can see the benefit of the touchscreen. We'll close out of this. We can create a new drawing, and then any motion that you make on the screen will be translated. Now you can see there's a little bit of a lag there, but it's actually much better than you might expect with, uh, with an e-ink display. So we'll close out of that. I don't think we need to save it. And let's go home. So on the home screen, you see, we can continue reading uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy excerpt. We have 11 books in our library, some notes that we've taken. We'll show you that in a moment. And you can also create your own book collections. You can also make memos, and there's some more functions back here. You can see audio, pictures, and you can get into settings. So just to show you some of the pictures, you see it's not really a killer app for uh, an e-ink display, but it shows a pretty decent photo. Obviously, it's going to be black and white. Exit back to home. So let's continue reading A Hitchhiker's Guide to the, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Now you can see here, um, and uh, this is another benefit of having a touch screen, you can see that we've actually highlighted a couple of words on the page. You can also double tap a word with the stylus or with your finger to get a dic uh, dictionary definition. It uses the Oxford American, uh, American English Dictionary. So if we click on hypnotized here, you see here we get a, a definition from, from the dictionary. It's pretty handy. Now we, have, we currently have this on a, a fairly large text size, just so you can see. Uh, but you can actually change the text size and the, uh, the book will reflow. So now you can see here we've made some annotations. Um, and to make an annotation, you can actually draw on the screen, you can highlight words. Um, so for example, if you're, if you're reading um, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy for a school project, you could uh, you know, get a, an important quote and uh, keep a note of that. So you can see here, if we, if we bring up the options screen, we can turn off notes. So we'll hide those notes for now. We'll go on to the next page. If we hit options again, we can choose to create or edit notes. So we can use this highlighter to say uh, Ford invariably replied. And we'll also, we can write a little uh, note, just freeform handwriting, and say neat. We can also erase our notes if, uh, if we don't think that's neat anymore. And we'll exit out of that there. So now, on the bottom of the device, we have, a little hard to show here, we have a headphone jack, a USB connection for charging and syncing, also a power port for, uh, for faster charging. There's also a volume rocker here. Now, this is because the, uh, this model of the Sony Reader, the touchscreen edition, um, also has an MP3 player on board. It's probably not going to replace your iPod, but it'll do in a pinch. And it's also handy for, for listening to eBooks and things like that. Now, it doesn't actually come with a set of headphones for the MP3 player. Like I said, it's not, it's not the killer app. But it does come with this, uh, this nice neoprene case, which uh, helps to protect your reader while you're in transit. So that's a quick look at the Sony Reader Touch Edition. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit butterscotch.com.